Watchmen Young Adult Forum presents the Arise Conference 2024 theme, Moving Forward. It's time to be empowered, time to connect with great minds, time to explore beyond the boundaries of your comfort zone. Now's the time to move forward. Featuring seasoned speakers from different industries, mentorship, connection, music, and lots more. Date 22nd and 23rd June 2024. Time Saturday by 9 a.m. and Sunday by 12 noon. Venue Watchman Barry the Fellowship Center 22 slash 24 Soji Oshodi Street, Soji Oshodi Bus Stop, Dariga, Lagos State. Be there. Is the, is the Arise program just a talk show? And I said, no, it's value driven. So without wasting time, I want to call to the stage all the board members available here to please come up to the stage with me. And then I will call a few other individuals. First of all, I'll call my pastor, Pastor Nambi Onachuku, please come to the stage because I have something very important I want you to do with me. Yes, please, put hands together as you come on. Pastor Eze, please quickly come on. Pastor Tony Anenechuku, please come on. Sister Abaronye, Sister Oinyechi. Brother and Pastor Solomon Chukuka, please come to the stage quickly. You see these men, they have made up their minds that this program will hold at no cost to you. So it costs something, but they decided to take up the bills. You didn't hear what I said? It cost them money. Yes. They spent so much money from their, without being coerced. They brought the money needed for this program to hold. So please, I want you to, once again, give them a standing ovation. Standing. Give them a standing ovation. It cost them so much. Their time, their money, their expertise to make this happen. Praise God. And so please be seated. Thank you. You're also dignitaries in your own rights. First of all, I want to announce to the watchmen that I, for one, you have heard me say it many times in different fora. Please, is there another board member that is here that I've not called? Quickly come to the stage. I can't see them here. If they are somewhere else in the room, please, any other board member should please come to the stage. I can't see them here. I have said in several fora, I think I can sit down now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm comfortable here. So I've said in many fora that I am confident, very sure, that in the watchman, in a few years' time, maybe three years, four years' time, we will have 1,000 people, 1,000, that can, I repeat the words, comfortably, happily, and willingly give out a million naira per annum. Somebody is saying I am involved already. Somebody said I am part of that number. Somebody said I am part of that number. I heard you, brother, and we are here to let you know that we, you are welcome on board. All right? Now, how is it going to happen? It is not going to happen by praying and fasting. Because God's plan for prospering the church is not a promise. It's a covenant. And in that covenant, you do your part, God will do his part. It is to help you do your part, that's why we are gathered here. So, we are interested in raising men. You heard me say it that we don't just want to build houses. We are building the ICC land. And it's going to talk about, take about 4 billion naira. We're not going to borrow a dime to do it. I will bring the money, you will bring the money. In the same vein, 
we are going to raise men because we don't just want to build houses and nobody lives in them. So we will raise men. How do we want to do it? By the mentorship program we talked about. So we are here to say to you, what do you need to rise? What do you need to move forward? We will give it to you. Now, we have certain things we want to showcase. I just want to make a demonstration. Big brother, come on. Come on. Come on. Remember, I did, I did a demonstration. I said, who are you following? And why are you following that individual? I had a mentor that didn't know about me for more than 12 years. He didn't know about me. But what I was doing, I was consuming everything that came from him. If I heard that he was anywhere, I would go there. If I heard that he wrote a book, I would go and search for the book and buy it, and I read it. So I kept saying it until one day. I sent him a WhatsApp and said, sir, you've been my mentor, and I've been observing you from a distance. Can you pray for me? He didn't answer me until one month. After one month, he called me one day and said, hello. I said, yes, sir. Do you know who he's speaking? I said, no. He mentioned his name. It's a name everybody knows. He said, if you are giving 100 million to spend in one minute, sorry, in one hour, what will you be doing? I said, I will not greet anyone I see on the road. I will make sure I spend it before I will greet anybody. He said, okay, you have one hour of my time. I need to talk to you. Ask me a question. I didn't think what to ask him because I've been asking him questions without seeing him. So I asked him, he answered me. At the end of the day, he prayed for me. He answered me for one hour. He prayed for me for one hour. Praise God. So that was my meeting him. So when we talk about mentorship here, I have several mentors. So many mentors. When you come to Watchman, I have people that mentor me. If I look at what I like about you, I adopt you as my mentor. And one time I will come to you and tell you this is what I've been looking up to. And I've been getting it from you. So mentorship starts. So I have a lot of people mentoring me, especially our senior pastor, our GS. I wanted to pray like him. I wanted to sing like him in terms. I've said this several. So now when it comes to business, I have several mentors. So, and the, the more you learn from somebody, somebody's learning from you. So whatever he's saying today, I'm surprised somehow. But when I look again, I say, no, it's true. I work with this young man. <laughs> and uh, why I still work with them is because they are smart. You know, the first time uh, Tony went to Dubai, I've been going to Dubai. So one time, he was doing his service, I guess. So he came to, from Adamawa. Where, where is that? What? Lafia. Lafia. He came around. I said, I want you to go to Dubai. I said, okay. And I put the map on the road, and I was telling him, this is what you do. This is how you do. This is what you answer them. This is what will happen when you get to the airport. That was the first time you were flying internationally. So he agreed. But there's one smart thing he did. Where I asked him to go, he got into the flight, and he was reading a magazine. And he saw a, a supplier that I, ne I never met in Dubai. He landed in Dubai. He connected with that supplier. The kind of money we made from that supplier. You understand what I mean now? So he, he called me and said, ah, I saw this, you know, I've gone to free zone. This, that, 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 that. Leave the whole story. But the only thing here is that he was smart enough. And uh, I told him, you can do it. He said, I said, you can do it. You can go to Dubai and get this thing without anybody carrying you, you know, dragging you. So when we talk about mentorship, it's about the mentee. Right. Are you a good follower? So I will stop here, Abby. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God Please, bless. can you give our pastor a round of applause? <laughs> If you wish, you can sit down, sir, please. I don't want to, I don't want to be standing. All right, so um, every one of us will just have two minutes to say something to you. Then I'll ask you questions, which you write down. We want you to respond to the platform on the questions I'm going to ask. Are we together on that? So please, great men and women, you can please go back to sit down. I'll come back to you. Put your hands together for these men. All right, I said I won't call her yet because she was being mentored from a distance by our pastor. Have you ever gone to him for advice before? Um, yes, uh, yes, I would say, but that was very recently. So um, after I rise last year, 
I took a challenge. Pastor Tony challenged me yeah. after my session. And he said, all these things that you're saying, you know you can start something for yourself. Yeah. So I've been working. I've not been able to start something for myself. Yeah. I've not had the courage. So afterwards, I actually registered a business. That was what I succeeded in doing from that time to this time. When I finished, I sent it to him. I said, Daddy, I've succeeded in registering a business. And he said, congratulations. That is the starting point. So yeah. I'm still going to definitely go for that. Thank you very much. So did you see that? We all are hungry for more. We, I see a lot of people here who are hungry. And I say congratulations to you. I am very sure. I'm not confused about the process. So please, let's follow the process. Be patient and keep moving. Don't look down on yourself. Where you are today is just a starting point. I am so confident that in a few years' time, you will be standing on stages far higher than this stage. I'm confident that if you keep moving, if you keep learning, keep learning, in a short while, you'll be rejecting invitations because they will come. People will call you to come and talk to them. How did you do it? And you will tell your story. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Now, to start with, I want to know, take down these questions I'm going to ask you. Then I'll tell you what we want to do. So what do you think is your biggest value from the Arise Conference? Write down the question. You're going to send it to us. What do you think is your biggest value from Arise Conference? Number two, what do you want to get from Arise 2025? Number two, number three, sorry. Are there other kinds of conferences apart from this kind that you would want us to organize? Then the last thing I would say, or I will make an introduction of something that is very important added to the mentorship program we have just set up. Someone among us is a board member but not here, told me that there is a process he has seen that produced so many people that have crossed the first barrier in Africa. The first barrier in Africa is the base of the self-actualization pyramid, which Brother Val used yesterday. That's where Africa is today and has never crossed it over the centuries. Fulfilling the need for food, clothing, and rest or sleep or shelter. And so all the people that passed through that process that the brother introduced have crossed that level. They are no longer struggling with what to wear, what to eat, and um, where to sleep. And that's the first barrier. As soon as you cross it, you can start thinking well. A man who has not been able to get food cannot generate any good idea. All the idea will be coming to him will be crisscrossing. Because food is the first need of man, and each time you don't solve the food, the need for food, any other need you want to solve will be counteracting that one. So the idea will be generated out of hunger. It won't go straight. So if you want to solve an emerge, you must first of all solve that need. So he said to me, this process will solve that need. What's the process? He said, there are some, a lot of brethren want to go into tech. Of course, as a matter of fact, tech is going to be providing over 50% of the world's billionaire in the coming years. Today, it's already doing it. NVIDIA just became the most valuable company in the world just a few days ago. Tesla, Microsoft, name them, Amazon. They are all tech companies. And so, aspiring to get into tech can never be outdated. It cannot be saturated. So he said, are there people that are interested in tech? All kinds of tech-related career. There are schools 
there are programs. He mentioned one. That's the one I want to mention. He said there are all others. CWG, Computer Warehouse Group. How many of us know about that company? Computer Warehouse Group. Wow. So you see our audience. They don't know about Computer Warehouse Group. Do you know about them? Very, very few. So, he made us understand that anybody that is interested in building a career in tech, not minding what you study, but basically, please, they have to be graduates. You should have graduated from the university. But if you have not graduated and you are still interested, bear in mind that that opportunity exists so that as soon as you are coming out from school, you are keen in immediately. So he said, it's just a three months program. But I personally have observed that out of 10 people that went to that training, eight or nine of them are gainfully employed. I think that that's the kind of training anybody will want to get into. Universities will advertise their MBA program and tell you that 90% of those that acquire their MBA obtain promotions in their jobs. Or those who never had a job got a job. And that's their selling point. So what does that tell you? If I undertake this program in one year from today, I'll be carefully employed or I'll be promoted where I'm working. That's the kind of program you want to undertake. So I want to say it to every one of us. If you want to get involved in such program, please come on board. Uh, the organizers will also send out the links, tech people specifically, and uh, we will guide you on how to register. Now, let me tell you what he said that interested me. He said, we're going to choose only 20 for the pilot scheme. And those 20 will pay for your training. <laughs> it's an expensive training, but we'll pay for you. But look at the deal. You will guarantee us that after you ha we have trained you, maximum two years after, you will train one more person by yourself. So guess what? I made the calculation and I said in five years time, that is five years from the first group that emerged, we'll be having not less than a hundred people that have been trained only with the same first investment we made. We don't need to put more money. With the same first set of money, over hundred people will be trained. Now guess what? Of all the brethren I know that two years, three years ago in this watchman, they are not able to bring out maybe a hundred thousand. If you make a call in church, they can't give hundred thousand. Today, just three years down the line, one of them just gave five hundred thousand as we were making a donation in the parish. How did it happen? Because he has been empowered and he's able to earn about five hundred thousand per month. So giving out five hundred thousand was easy for him, and he is getting jobs that are even helping him gain multiple streams of income. So what we are doing is empowerment program. It's not a talk show. Our desire and expectation is that by next year, those who we empower this year will come and give their testimonies. So tell others, come on board. God will bless you in Jesus' name. I'm going to give everyone on the stage two minutes to say a word to the group. Thank you. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Can you smile, please? I need you to smile. I have a reason for this. How many of us are excited about um, Can I have the time? Yeah, two minutes. Now, let me have it here. Yeah, how many of us are about, excited about what is happening now? Like, you are really, really excited. Like, you see yourself moving forward. Then you should be happy. I'm not seeing that joy, honestly. You should be excited. You should be excited because... Um, in the, in the multitude of a lot of the youth and young adults, you have the opportunity to be here. It's something that you should celebrate. You know, what personally I see about what is happening today is that, like Jesus, who for the joy that was set ahead of him, was able to endure all the process. Do you understand? 
And then in Philippians chapter 2, from verse 5, he was now announced and still being announced. And yet, you know, we, we celebrate Ronaldo as the most followed human being on earth. But Jesus, you know, we can't, you know, um, we can't compare. Ronaldo, on his, yesterday I checked his Instagram page, He's, he has like 600, 000, 600 million people following him, right? But Jesus has already created over 2 billion doing so for him. So because of the joy of what is ahead of him, he was able to endure the process. You know, so for all that you've been taught here today and yesterday, to make a lot of sense to you and also to give you hope of your tomorrow, you know, today may be too bad. But there is something you know about tomorrow. That your tomorrow is what is going to be a bomb. That, that tomorrow you know where you are going to. And because of that, that joy should make you, even if it, it takes, you know, being awake most nights, even if, if it takes not having, you know, being on 101 or 100, but you are 100% sure that you are moving forward, it will make you make sure that you enjoy now and enjoy this process. You know, so many mentorship um, meetings has been advertised. We, we are on the business development, and most times when we do our events, we see 10, 20, we've never seen a ma maximum of 20 people. And yet, we offer to give data. It shows something that we've not either uh, valued the um, knowledge, or we, we are not seeing it as a way out. You know, like our pastor, we always say that it's not about money. That money is always the last thing. By the time you equip yourself, I, I took so much from yesterday's, when our sister was talking about gestation. Nine months, you cannot want to give birth to, and then you want, to, you want it to happen in one month. And you're not patient enough for the nine months you are going to give birth to a premature, or most times we get this gift aborted. And why we are here today is to equip us with things that will make us not abort these dreams that God has given to us. A lot of dreams. Every one of us here represents something that should solve a problem, not just in Nigeria, but globally. That is who you are. The Bible says that you are the salt of the earth, and you are here to make a lot of impact, and everybody's desire here should be to die empty. So at every point in time, you are hungry to make sure that everything inside of you comes out so the benefit of not just the church, but also the earth. Should we put our hands together for our brother? Of the earth. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, please, Sarah. <laughs> Watchman, young adults, say it like you believe it. Watchman, young adults, yes, it's time to move forward. You know, when we were discussing about this meeting before it started as the board, one of the things I said was, it would be very interesting to see people who have benefited from this program. 1.0 king, 2.0 king, this is 3.0. I want to believe that there are one or two people, even if it's one person that has moved from where they were I said, last year, to where you are today. This hall used to be much more full than this. Some people have also believed that maybe they are not getting value. But that is where the problem is. So it's all about you and what you decide to take out of it. A lot has been said. Me, I take a lot. I, I soak a lot. I learn a lot. You know, from everything that was said to me last year, I took action on my own self. And I'm sure I'm going to grow into a conglomerate. Very soon, I'm going to be competing with these, our daddies here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is the spirit we should have, okay? So, like this mentorship thing, that's the basic thing I actually want to talk about. You know, for you to have a mentor, you need to be able to go to that mentor you know, your mentor has a lot of things going on in his or her own life. So you need to be able to get the attention of your mentor and get the value that you need from your mentor. This mentorship program is very serious and very important. Personally, I went ahead to register for a mentorship program on my own. 
wing board, basically preparing myself for the next level of um, the corporate world for me. And not just for the corporate world, it's about board membership. So it's also preparing me to be an MD CEO of my business. Praise the Lord. So, and in doing that, um, we enrolled, and I don't know, those who follow me on LinkedIn will see one of my posts. When I, I posted myself, I'm a Dr. Ibuku Awoshika. Like for me, it's a dream come true. She is somebody who I, you know, I admire and I was very happy to learn from her. So let's take this serious and make sure we make the best out of the mentorship process. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have two minutes. Praise the Lord. I don't know what more to say, but um, while um, Sir Austin was analyzing the people that participated in the opportunity, I was wondering if, had it been it was an opportunity that we have um, um, the privilege of winning grants of maybe 50 million on 100 million naira, many people would have missed it. And my mind went back to a lot of opportunities that are ongoing, even outside the church. And when Mr. Val was talking about the negative attitude yesterday, about how we already disengage ourselves from opportunities, thinking is not meant for me. And our programs and a whole lot of programs are going on on there and how we just look at them and pass and just feel this person is more, um, more, suited to get this other than me, amazes me as a person. So what I want to drive my point to is, I am so privileged being here and learning like, I'm learning like a hawk from all the sections. And every single word that I've said, I myself am learning and I'm looking way to engage. I'm just, you know, challenging us to change our mindsets. I'm challenging us to think good about ourselves. Because even if God thinks you're going to be wealthy, but you have not taught yourself that you're going to be wealthy, it can't even happen. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So we must say, wow, wow, and at the end you go back to your base and you're beginning to think, ah, where I'm coming from and all of that, how can I become this? You're already weighed down in your mentality. So whatever thing that will enable you to keep this fire going on, please keep it. And mentorship cannot be overstated. San Nam Dionachuku has really been of a great help for me. My speaking yesterday when I talked about starting a depot, and I went to meet him, and he was like, Oyinye, I'm giving you an assignment to go to depot. And for the first time, I thought, Oyinye, you want to start up something, and you don't even, you've not even been to a depot. And that's just little of so many tiny details we miss out in our quest to achieve what we want to achieve. I will miss out the most important thing. So please, the time that will be brought out to mentor, I mean, these people are really very busy people and they're bringing out their time that would be paid for, that they are paid for per hour to mentor. And when such a position come up, two people show up, one person show up, and when you chat some people up and they don't respond to you immediately, you just get angry. I, I don't even blame them. It's because in your mind, you're getting angry with somebody that were, you, you, you're requesting help for. We need to change that mentality. When Charles was talking, he said he kept on, on somebody for one month, and after one month, a mentor responded, and he was so glad he did. But we, we, res we, we sent messages to some of them here, they don't respond, and he become angry, he, you know, put it up, so, you know, permit me to use nonsense mentality. Let us grow up in our mind sense. My sense. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Yeah, so um, I want to thank all the participants who availed themselves to have this wonderful lecture. And I want to ask if actually we understand what we are doing. And that start by asking you if you have any written materials to put down all that have been taught you since you started this um, convocation. If you have a written material, can you raise your hand up? You see. Right. If you have any writing material where you put down the information you have gotten here, can you put your hand up? So the number that didn't put their hands are more than those that put their hands up. It starts from there. You must attach value in what we are doing. Everybody here 
as you see one mentorship or the other. Like our pastor said, I myself, before I come to the level that I'm enjoying today, I learned from somebody. Before now, I was confused. I don't know what I was doing, going up and down. My humble friend here, Pastor Ezra Shimere, he, he will know the very day it happened. I keep coming to him for one problem or other, and he'll be talking. Each time he talk, he wouldn't know that I go home to put those things down, and I'll come back again the next day. Then we just knew. But I saw something in him that I need to tap, not minding that I'm older than him. It come to the point one day, my eye opened, I shouted. I told you that I've gotten it. And so from that day to today, I'm a different person. Glory. So I also have come in the island, and I'm also learning from somebody who is past some man. He didn't know that I'm a, I'm a student from a distance. Everything he puts down that is striking, I go home and put it down. Just a few days ago, I go to register with uh, Lagos State uh, Business School because there's a one a word he, he, he said before he left that we should in, improve our capacity. And I know that I have a lot of areas that I'm back in. I say I need to go and register. Today I'm a student in ABC. By your... Come on board. Well, come on board. So you need to put something that if you don't have any information that is driving you, you come back here tomorrow and we'll be talking as if we are talking to um, inanimate objects. We invest money in these things. We need to see value of the money we invest. And that is what you come out, what you return, uh, what you come out to be at the end of the day. So I pray that you go home and do, um, and, and do and cultivate the information you have so that tomorrow we'll be happy that you are there. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. So much value in two minutes. God bless you, sir. All right. I don't know what else to say, however, but I just want to say something. Um, your mentors are not your friends. They are not your friends. Don't expect friendship in mentoring program. And they are not going to run according to your pace. You'll be the one to catch up. <laughs> so, if you are not ready and you are not willing, don't sign up. All the attitudes you will see them put up, many of them are intentional because nobody has time. Thank you. Woo! 40 seconds. 40 seconds. And he delivered it. When you have opportunity, I didn't know I'm supposed to talk again. <laughs> However, I want to say something. Before you go for mentor, you have an image in your heart. You know what image does to you? Imagination. You know what it does to you? You can travel to any world, any country of the world without a visa. I can sit here and imagine myself coming into White House and having lunch with President Joe Biden. That's what imagination helps you do. So what I do a lot, I imagine a lot. I imagine myself here. I imagine myself there. I imagine myself standing before an audience in Harvard, speaking to them. And you ask me, ah. But that's what I'm imagining, and that's what I want to do. So who will mentor me to get to where I want to be? It's very key. So it helps you to select your mentor. And like they've all told you, essence of mentorship, you can't gain say it. And the people you, you look up to to mentor you are busy people. So you have to be what? Patient. So if I will leave you with anything here, I, tell, I will ask you, what are you imagining now? Seeing all these people here. Eh? This man, this woman. <laughs> what are you imagining? Are you seeing yourself on this stage? In how many days? In how many days? I'm talking about days or, or talk about months. Don't talk about years. Are you understanding? I'm always happy when I see this, my sister, you know, sitting here. Sometimes you wanted to do kerosene a bit. 
And we kept calling my food. I said, come to VI. She came all the way. And we sat down. And she was telling me her idea because she has a lot of ideas. And I asked her, ah, have you done this? Have you done this? She said, no, oh, they go and start there. That's what your mentor will do for you, not to take you there. He will send you. Go and do that. Go and do this. By the time you come back today, we sit on the same stage and speaking to the same audience. That's mentorship. Are you understanding? So, first of all, imagine it, then go for it, and then you will have it. Don't allow anything, your anything be a constraint to you. Don't allow any constraint. Remember the story I told you about Zacchaeus? He wanted to meet Jesus. He wanted to see him. What did he do? He ran forward. He climbed up. And Jesus called him down. Where did Jesus uh, uh, land, you know, to have his dinner? His house. You never can tell. Your mentor will be your guest. And when he comes to be your guest, you ask him the question. On that note, please may we rise to put our hands together. Please may we rise and have a group photograph quickly. Watchman Young Adults Forum presents the Arise Conference 2024 theme, Moving Forward. It's time to be empowered, time to connect with great minds, time to explore beyond the boundaries of your comfort zone. Now's the time to move forward. Featuring seasoned speakers from different industries, mentorship, connection, music, and lots more. Date 22nd and 23rd June 2024. Time Saturday by 9 a.m. and Sunday by 12 noon. Venue Watchman Barry the Fellowship Center 22 slash 24 Soji Osho District Soji Osho Bus Stop Dariga Lagos State. Be there.